dear students in this section we will learn about center of mass frame of reference it is often more convenient to analyze a problem from center of mass frame of reference rather ground frame of reference because the math involved in the problem gets simplified if we analyze the problem from center of mass frame of reference let us learn how this simplification occur let us take a system of n particles moving randomly that is n particles are moving in the different direction with the different velocities and if i ask to analyze n particle individually at a time it may be difficult for you because analyzing or observing n particles at a time is not a easy task but you can analyze a single particle at a time and we know the center of mass of the system is a hypothetical point where we can consider total mass of the system concentrated to a single point and motion of the single point observing the motion of a single point is easy so the motion of the center of mass can be observed easily now we can say it is easy to analyze motion of the center of mass in comparison to the n particles of the system let us discuss about frame of reference we know frame of reference is a set of the coordinate axes where observer locate himself at the origin of the system so here we can say a frame of reference with origin at the center of mass of the system is called the center of mass frame of reference so we defined here the center of mass frame of reference now let us ask very simple question if i ask you what is the velocity of the center of mass in center of mass frame of reference it is zero of course because it is the question same as suppose you are driving in a car and i ask you what is the velocity of you with respect to car that is zero of course that means in center of mass frame the velocity of the center of mass is zero and in center of mass frame of reference the velocity of the center of mass is zero that means the linear momentum of the center of mass should be zero because velocity of the center of mass is zero with respect to center of mass and linear momentum of the center of mass is equal to mass multiplied by velocity that means the linear momentum of the system as observed from the center of mass frame of reference should be zero that's why we call this frame of reference as a zero momentum reference frame it means we need not to care about the linear momentum of the system if we analyze the situation from the center of mass frame of reference so in many cases while problem solving we need to analyze the linear moment of the system and if this momentum linear momentum is zero always we need not to care about this equation that means one equation get eliminated now let us discuss some important points one point is very important that is linear momentum of the system is equal to linear momentum of the center of mass of the system that means if we want to calculate the linear moment of the system we need not to bother about the individual calculation of each and every point with respect to ground if we know the velocity of the center of mass we can simply calculate the linear moment of the system as mass of the system multiplied by velocity of the center of mass now let us discuss one more point that is very important point that is the neither internal forces nor external forces can change the linear moment of the system relative to center of mass let us calculate the linear momentum of two particle system relative to center of mass frame let us make two particles m1 and m2 moving with the velocities v1 and v2 we can easily write the velocity of the center of mass as vcm equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 divided by m1 plus m2 now finding the velocity of the particle 1 with respect to center of mass we need to write v1 cm equal to v1 minus vcm right and we know this velocity is m1 v1 minus m2 v2 divided by m1 plus m2 let us substitute this value now we can simplify we can if we simplify this m1 plus m2 will multiply with v1 and this is minus m1 v1 minus m2 v2 this term 
and you can observe this term m1 v1 and m1 v1 will get cancelled and here is m2 here is also m2 we can take m2 as common and this expression will be equal to m2 v1 minus v2 divided by m1 plus m2 now this term observe this term this is v12 that is the velocity of 1 with respect to 2 let us make this equation as equation number 1 the linear momentum of m1 with respect to center of mass we can write here p1 cm equal to m1 multiplied by velocity of 1 with respect to cm and we calculated this term so this linear momentum of 1 with respect to center of mass will be equal to m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 multiplied by v1 minus v2 you can observe this term that is m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 is called the reduced mass of the system this reduced mass means we reduced two body into a single body now we can write linear momentum of one with respect to center of mass as mu multiplied by v1 minus v2 and further we can write this term as v12 it is mu multiplied by v12 in similar fashion without calculation using symmetry we can write p2 cm equal to mu multiplied by v21 this is a linear momentum of second particle with respect to center of mass now let us write these term again this is the linear momentum of the first particle with respect to center of mass linear momentum of the second particle with respect to center of mass now total linear momentum of the two particle system with respect to center of mass is the summation of the p1 cm plus p2 cm we can add these term we can substitute these values now we can observe here this v12 and here is v21 and we know v12 equal to minus v21 because these are the vector equations so we can write here v12 equal to minus v21 that is magnitude wise these two values are equal but direction wise they are opposite so if we substitute these values in this equation we will get p system with respect to cm equal to 0 we have proved this term for the n particle system and two particle system we can observe here also again the linear moment of the system of two particle with respect to center of mass should be equal to 0 now let us generalize this term for the many particle system we can define the position of the center of mass of the system as rcm equal to m1 r1 plus m2 r2 plus m3 r3 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3 if we have n particles we can write for the n particles here also we can write for the n particles and here in denominator we can write this as a total mass of the system and in the numerator part we can write sigma mr so we can write here 1 upon total mass multiplied by sigma mr if we consider from the center of mass frame of reference this term that is rcm that is the position of the center of mass from center of mass frame of reference should be zero so this rcm equal to zero now we can substitute this value as zero here and here we need to replace this r i with the term r i with respect to center of mass now we can rearrange this equation and we can get that is sigma m i r i c equal to zero now if we differentiate this equation with respect to time we will get the velocity term so inside the sigma term we will have the m i multiplied by v i c equal to zero and if we further differentiate we will get the term acceleration in place of velocity now let us write these terms again that is sigma m r sigma m v and sigma m a okay now this term is called the moment of masses and this term is called the linear momentum that is the moment of velocity and this term is called the product of the mass and acceleration of the particle that is the summation of the internal forces 
remember we have calculated all these quantities with respect to center of mass